Okay. There's just one thing that I'm not quite following, though. Just... Because they, they keep mentioning the 15. Like, Okino mentioned the 15. There are 13 playable characters. Okino makes 14, which means there's a character I don't know. At this point in the game, there is one character I don't know or have forgotten. Also, there's... Should be a third route for this girl. Because if you're not locked, then you've still got a route to do. Oh, but there we go, see? Juro. I won't let you get away this time. It's you. Well, the you of 16 years ago. You're not aware of what happened, are you? That's disappointing. What happened? You and I were in love. Hand in hand, we struggled to save the world. But it was all for naught. Not entirely. We did find the truth. This is but one small part of a massive operation. Even if I tried to explain it, it would be lost on you now. The plan needs to be revised. Please, you must let me go. Do you mean to say you'll be taking even more lives? You've already killed the four that came with you. You misunderstand. I backed up my data on Sector Zero before the final battle. Sector Zero? That was all I could do. I'm not aware of what happened to the others. That's not what Ida-kun said. That guy. I can't trust a word you say. The 25-year-old Morimura felt quite differently. You said you'd loved me since the day we met. I can't imagine that's changed. Please, open the way. I can't. <sighs> Juro. There's a Sector Zero now? Yep. Completely new route. There's a Sector Zero now. Is that really just a dream? Even meeting him again? No. I had butterflies in my stomach. That was real. I should go back to the science room. Maybe it'll happen again. I need to look for him. By the way, Sunny-chan, you were with me the other day. Did something happen? Oh. Um. Well. I had a stomach ache, so. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fine now. I see. Karabikun, he looks a bit like the man in my dream. And I called that man Juro. It was him, right? It had to be. I know it's just a dream, but I shot him point blank. Feels kind of weird to talk to him now. Yeah, you got a point. Hey, you saw me, Tom. It's gonna block me. Alright, cool. No. I'm just kidding. I already talked to him. He went on a trip that day. A trip, huh? Hi, Usami chan Welcome back to the land of the living. Gotta say, sleeping as much as you do is a real talent. <laughs> I don't think that was a compliment. What are you doing, Me? I'm just fine. Well, okay. That's good. You're real bad at small talk. You were absent the Hey me watch Good morning. You were quite sleepy, huh? I saw you nodding off the whole time. The teacher was glaring at you again. <laughs> Did something happen? Oh, that's right. We lost the fight and ran away. A monster was chasing us. And the person with me was 
Koto Senpai. When did I get so obsessed with boys? You're at that age, don't worry about it. Keep showing up in my dreams. Um 2089. That's what year it was in my dream. He said he'd gone back in time 16 years to find me. If that was a real premonition, something's gonna happen in the year 2105. That's 120 years from now. I had a stomach ache. A giant UFO buried underground. Was it a premonition? Maybe not chance getting to my head when she starts talking about gotta love. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh wait. The science room. The door's always locked. How do I get back in? I see. Every day. <sighs> you a chance my good Usami chan sits at the desk in front of my Hey Usami chan. Nenji kun was absent too. <sighs> It's my turn to clean up the science room. I'll do it. Sorry, dude. That one's a real pain. Eh, whatever. I'll do it. Maybe the other helper's a cute girl. Let's see. Oh, it's so Atari. Lucky you. I know, right? Is she your type? Eh, I don't know, man. Bruh. Maybe that's my key to the <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> High key rude. High key rude, man. Nothing like that. I I do sure I do adore that. how Mira is like the one person who isn't involved but is involved. Do what you need to. I I love it. Every person involved like is on it on some level. She has no idea and shit's just happening around her. <laughs> and she's just like what the fuck man? <laughs> Even people have got strange dreams or people do know. Or people knew but forgot, or people are directly trying to cause, and she's just like, What the hell, man? We just traveled 40 years in the future. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> I just wanted to talk to that cute boy at school. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I love it. I, I do, I do love it. She's just, she's so not involved. Is she the fifteenth person that I'm? Um, I was discounting automatically. Whenever I think my heart, it's like love. If, if I said that, would he? Probably. Yeah, like m maybe she's the fifteenth person whose life has been fucked with. I don't know. Maybe, but she's not on the level of any of this, so I don't know. But <laughs> I just love how she's so not on the level. She has no idea about anything. Uh, so, uh, last time stuff started popping up right about here. <sighs> there has to be something. Come on. Anything? Everything's normal. Mm. Open sesame! Voice print matched. Senior administrative ID authorized. I can't believe that worked. Whoa, there it is. It really worked. I knew it wasn't a dream. Nope, okay, cool. I have no idea how this works, but let's see. I think it was like this. Yes, I'm going to meet him again. And I think you are. Take me there. Into the future. How far? The future's a big place, madam. Oh, hello.
This is the UFO for my dream. We need to talk about all the androids. An alien? Is it dead? Looks like a computer. Hmm. There's text on the screen. You gonna read it? No? Alright. Another one. This reminds me of something. What was it? The Terminator. These computers are analyzing the UFO. We must have brought them here. Just like in the dream. Now, because of the whole future actually is the past cloning, restart humankind shit, it's honestly made keeping track of the, chronologi the uh, chronological uh, timeline so much harder. Because, like, her dream might have been her past self's future. <laughs> if, you, if you know what I mean. Or well, it might have been her future self's past. But she's remembering future cells past which she shouldn't have been through yet unless maybe genetic memories or something. Like it doesn't, it's hard to keep track of is what I'm saying. Do I hear footsteps? Someone's coming. Oh no, what if it's an alien? I need to hide. He's still after me. Oh, you're gonna save Mira. You're gonna save Mira. Oh, okay then. No good. It's not moving. Four two six must have shot it. There's no choice. Okay, yeah. This is after Mira gets left behind. Actually, it's before, but she's gonna get left behind. All right. Why must you keep running from me? I'm. Stop. Four two six. You won't get away with this. That again? Give it a rest. There's not much time left. Come with me. I'll protect you. Please, Ryoko. Don't stop trying to confuse me. Okay, never mind then. I don't think that's quite... There. well, maybe. Iori Fuyusaka. Are you alone? What are you doing here? Well, um... I wanted to see if this was all just a dream. And... I guess it was. Uh, in any case... You shouldn't be here. Go back to your sector. Guess I'll send you myself. Oh, she doesn't get to have happy romance times. And there's more! How is there more? Madam! Miwako's taking a while. She said she had some papers to deliver, right? To the art room, I think? Yeah. Mm. What's up, Iori? You look bummed. Huh? I I'm fine. We're going to Tsutsuji today, right? Miwako did say she wanted to stop by the record store. She wants that new Idol album, right? There she is. Sorry to keep you waiting. You know what? I saw Natsuno-chan just now, but hey, the bus is here. That's an entirely new asset. For later. That's an entirely new asset. I've never seen that before.
This game looks fucking beautiful. <laughs> it's because you were waiting on me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whenever I my heart, it's like love if, if I said that. No, I'm sorry, Miwa chan. We couldn't even get the record you wanted. I can't believe all three stores were sold out. It's getting kind of late. My dad's a worry ward. Maybe I should call home. Well, there's a phone booth over there. Are you gonna call? Yeah. No splits. Okay. me to come home ASAP. Figures. The train's probably fastest. No goodbye? Ah, right, fuck you guys. Oh no, they're following me, alright. What's wrong? Do you see that guy? Oh yeah, it's the bully from before. I thought so. Pompadour dude? What about him? I think it was last week. He was harassing us by the school gate. You got harassed? Dude, everything okay? Luckily, Neji can stepped in and saved us. Of course he did. He's a good boy. He, he did? He did. He's a good boy. Dang. What now? Should we go around the other way? That'd be best. Come to think of it, I've seen a few guys like him. They've been hanging around our school lately. Nope, it just it won't even let me. All right. Hey, what school are you from? Didn't they tell you not to roam around after dark? Um, who's this geezer? I'm Hazo Onishi, police force, juvenile division. Uh-oh. You may know me better as Onishi the Ogre. He's gonna take us into custody. Why? Judging from the uniform, you're from Sakura High. It's eight o'clock. What are you doing out at this hour? Going home. Um, well, we were shopping for a record and it got dark before we knew it. It's true. It's dangerous for young girls like you to be out on the streets at night. Yeah, well, well. The reason doesn't matter. We're sorry. If it happens again, I'll write you up. Why? I'll hurry on home. Is it illegal? Is it illegal to be outdoors? Does this mean more juvenile delinquents? Why do you look so happy about it? Yeah. Can I talk to him? Just hurry up and go home. Okay. Go to the cop and be like, Oi, brah. We go to the cop and say, hey, bruh, can you oh, no, he's gone. Okay, no, he is gone. Alright, well, we can't... No, we can't go that way. I'd rather not. Perfect place. Watch him on. Hey. Well, you see the ogre. Don't tell me you're up to no good again. I haven't done anything. 
yet. Run along home. Or would you rather come with me? <sighs> Damn it. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go, girls. Uh you ambushed well. us in front of the station and forced us into this creepy alleyway. Okay. I don't think you'll get away with this. The police are on their way. Oh shut up. <laughs> Wajima-san has something to say. So listen up, will ya? Hey, knock it off. You know, all my life I've been shit out of luck when it comes to women. I wonder why. Until now. I'm telling you, girl. The moment I saw you, I knew you'd be mine. <laughs> Get it, Wajima-san. Okay, so we got to run. I consider myself a man who minds his own business. Hey. But I can't abide by this. You need to leave those girls alone. Get out of here. Where is Tommy? Who the hell are you? Another poser, huh? Hard of hearing, are we? Don't say I didn't warn you. It's you. You better not be messing around. Where's Tommy? <laughs> Have you ever won a fight? It's a boxer. A tad rusty. You got a few hits in. Where is Tommy? Um, thank you. But why? Um, mere coincidence. You're lying. Uh, they must have heard the commotion. Where is Tommy? You there you are. Oh, I got the cop. Care to explain what happened here, Wajima? I feel much better with the policeman here. Thanks, Usami-chan. You should have just bolted past the ticket gate. You're such a slowpoke sometimes. Sorry. Anyway, how'd you get out of this mess? A really cool guy came in and saved us. You mean the one who ran downtown? Yes, that's right. I wonder what school he goes to. Well, I'm glad you're okay. We can leave the rest to the cop. Let's go home. <sighs> what should I do? Well, I have one option, which is probably follow him. One of these are new. I wonder where he is now. I might never see him again. Oh, there we go then. First off. Bob. No, if I don't run after him, I know I'll regret it. Even if he turns me down, I have to tell him how I feel. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, never mind, then that wasn't a real option. It has to be him. He's nearby. Uh. Alright, well. Yeah, no, that was the only one. Your dad's got to be freaking the fuck out. He has to be somewhere. Uh. Hey, um Huh? Oh. Um sorry. I thought you were one else. Uh him <sighs> is that guy looking for someone too he's looking for your someone in fact <sighs> he's gone <gasps> he's like oh god she followed me Following me? Um, 
I wanted to tell you something. Don't. If you're seen with me, the men in black suits will go after you too. Black suits? I'm being hunted. Do you get it? Now go home, all right? Oh. So that man I saw over there. No, don't go in the opposite direction, of course. Follow regardless of where the man in the suit was. Damn it. Let go of me. Don't even think of drawing your gun here. Watch this. Well done. Reckless. Look out. Did she knock him out? You're not getting away, Sekigahara. Just run. Forget about me. Is this girl with you? No. The hell's going on here? Perfect timing. Give me a hand. So women and children are fair game, huh? What? I don't stand for that, buddy. Alright, What? What? Over here. Here's a self driver mall bike. Get on. Right. Here's a self driver mall bike. Since when? The girl. She seemed to be associated with the men in black. Did you recognize her? No, it was too dark. I see. You might want to hold on a little tighter. You're gonna fall. Uh, okay. Where do you live? I'll take you home. It's now or never. Hey, um... I know this is sudden, but... I need to tell you, I... I love you. What's this all of a sudden? Some kind of prank from this era? It's not a prank! I know. You already have Shinonome Senpai. It's probably awkward to hear this from me. But even if it ends up breaking my heart, I just needed to tell you. I needed you to know how I feel. There seems to be a misunderstanding. Ryoko-san is not my girlfriend. Huh? I spent a lot of time alone back home. Parents weren't around. So she stepped in. Looked after me like a big sister. She's family to me. In that sense, I do care for her. I want her to be happy. That's all. You mean it? Middle school was a rough time for me. Haven't heard a thing about love since I was a kid. Until now, that is. So she's not his girlfriend after all. You know, it seems the two of us are bound by fate. What would you do if I told you I'm an assassin from the future who came here to kill you? Lies. I would still love you. A guy whose name you don't even know? Well, yeah. <laughs> you feel that strongly, huh? Didn't see that coming. My name is A. Sekigahara. A. Sekigahara. So, um, I haven't heard enough. Let's get you home. Don't follow me again, all right? I'll be in touch. Okay. I mean, he did kind of kill her future self. We need to talk about that. <laughs> We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. We're gonna pretend it didn't. Oh, okay, goddamn. Well, we're getting there. We're getting close. But again, we gonna we gonna just pretend that didn't happen because it did. It's kind of important. 